you're heading into the woods this weekend, and you better know this plan if you want to avoid the rash that comes with poison ivy days later. This is jewelweed, Impatiens capensis. There's also Impatiens pallida with yellow flowers instead of orange. Both are native and both are useful. Several pieces to help you identify jewelweed. Number one, the stem is almost translucent. You can almost see through it. And oftentimes near the base, it'll have this purplish or maroon hue. It has these oval leaves that are slightly sawtoothed. And a really cool thing, this one's called jewelweed. When you put water on the underside of the leaves, it looks silvery. This is not a curative, it's a preventative. So what you can do is take the stem, crush up the leaves, put the juices from it on your skin, and if you come in contact with poison ivy, then it may keep that oil from poison ivy from making contact with your skin. You can also gather jewelweed and make a tea from it, not to drink, but to put in a spray bottle and carry it in your backpack and use it as a wash, again, before you get into poison ivy. And then after you get into it, you might, you just might be able to use this to wash some of that oil off. Just remember it's an oil and it's hard to get off your skin. Not all plants are helpful out here. Some of them can be problematic, but jewelweed is one that can very likely help you. You just need to know how to identify it. And if you don't know how to identify poison ivy, watch the other video I just posted because I go through some great identification details for you and poison ivy. That way you can come get wild with me, Craig Cottle at Nature Line School.